You know, we all have difficult times in life. I had mine and I'm sure you had yours. I got bullied when I was a kid. And I worked 24 7 in my full time job being chased by customers hourly without hardly any holidays for two years. But maybe you're in a worse situation being assaulted or abused, feeling worthless and totally crappy, in worst case, thinking of committing suicide. I have no clue what you're going through in life right now. And it's irresponsible to say I know how you feel because I don't, I can't. But in this video, I'd like to share you my thoughts on how to deal with self-criticism that kept me going in my life during tough times. And just wishing that this could be a small help for you on your journey. But just before we dive into it, if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey, and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. It's easy to say be positive or love yourself and stop beating yourself up from the outside. It's also easy to say don't compare yourself with others. But how? Comparing yourself with others isn't always a bad thing if you do it in a healthy way. But when you're heavily self-criticizing yourself, it's nearly impossible to see the bright side. The reason why you keep comparing yourself with others or keep beating yourself up comes from the environment you were raised. The negative things that the people around you were telling you unfortunately made you believe in it. The voices inside you that say, I'm not good enough. No matter how hard it might be, you have to face those traumas. Accept what happened being non-judgmental. Because it's not your fault. But you can't change the people that said mean things to you or abused you. You can only change the people within you. You have to replace those nasty things they said and did to you with gentle and kind words. To heal those emotions. To have a dialogue with yourself. That it's okay. Yes, it was painful. You were hurt. You suffered a lot. But you did your best. You deserve more kindness to yourself. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. We can only learn from them and do better next time. Reboot yourself by objectively observing what occurred. Imagine when you saw a person or child you really care of being depressed. What kind of words would you tell them? Tell the same kind of nice things to yourself. There is no right or wrong. Just because you couldn't do something at that point can't harm who you are now. You don't have to listen to the people that put you down. The failure, the struggles and sufferings you've experienced can be turned into gold. It can make you stronger and lead you to massive success in the end, no matter how long it takes. After you face your past and very slowly start being able to take distance towards your traumas without negative emotions, you might be able to start handling constructive feedbacks. What's the best friend for you? They're not always the cheerleaders. They lift you up and praise you but also give you constructive criticism. They care about you and will give you advice to help you become the best version of yourself. Suppose you set a goal to reach a score 90 in something, but you end up getting a 50. Running away from reality is blindly telling yourself that 50 is okay. But oppositely, beating yourself up and adding self-hatred is saying, I'm no good, I don't have any talent. Both aren't a good thing to do. You need to find the right balance, just like what a best friend will tell you. It might be something like this. The effort you put in the last three days was amazing. The score result says you're a 50. Well, that's not bad. However, there's a room to improve. What do you think will happen if you start working on it a little earlier? I think you could really crush it if you did. Just like this, talk to yourself as if you're the best friend. It's important to observe where you are now. Learn from your failures and experiences and finding a solution to keep on improving. Sometimes it makes life easier to think that life is just a game. You never feel like dying when you're playing a board game, right? Just acknowledge what you did wrong objectively and work on improving them step by step without beating yourself up. To accept and forgive yourself the way you are now and keep on going. We only learn from failures. We hardly learn from success in life. Success is made of multiple elements and it's hard to narrow down the right things you've done that led you to success. On the other hand, finding out what you failed is much easier to figure out. And humans are said to remember better from their mistakes because it mostly sticks to their minds. We need to fail to grow. Yes, we need to fail in order to grow and this mindset is critical. Would you rather be in the same spot and not grow? Or challenge new things and fall down but keep getting up and growing? When you see all the successful people out there on social media or TV or even the people around you, you might get discouraged. But comparing yourself with them and lowering your self-esteem and by purely being inspired by them is a different story. Yes, you can be inspired and use that as a motivation to try to raise yourself to the next level. This is a healthy way to compare yourself with others. But once you start self-criticizing, it will kill your self-confidence. Don't compare with others. Compare and compete only with the yesterday version of yourself. Stay in your own lane. We're all different. The grass is always greener on the other side. 
It doesn't make sense to compare yourself to a different person. When I went through a very difficult time in my full time job, some people tried to encourage me that rainy days never stay. But when I was in the middle of the storm, this didn't really ease my pain. I had to drink whiskey and shout out my head off at karaoke to get distressed. But to think that someone in human history had gone through a more difficult situation and that we're not always alone is something to keep in mind. And in the end, it's how strong you can believe in yourself that matters. It's easy to say that your value as a human being is not what you've achieved in life or the external things you have like money. But in order to build self confidence, you need to keep up building small wins. There's no other way around because you can't keep manipulating yourself what you don't think is true. Maybe your parents were too strict on you saying you're clumsy, you always do things wrong. You need to first cure that wound and understand those negative voices aren't true at all. Remember that it's only an opinion. You get to choose whether you want to let those voices in. Say kind words to yourself whenever you've achieved small wins. Keep praising yourself whenever you kept the promise you made to wake up early or do the job for the day. Keeping promises will stack up your small wins and they will be the guardians that make you strong enough to overcome any adversity in life. I'm not saying to be arrogant or to be narcissistic or anything, but healthy narcissism is something we need to feel less anxiety, to avoid depression, and to stop seeking for others' validation. To be okay with who you are, and to be able to treat yourself with care and love. We all have our ups and downs. There is no one on this earth who always sees sunshine and rainbows. You have incredible possibility in yourself, but you have to truly believe you really do. This may sound cheesy, but if you don't believe in yourself, who in the world will? Have the most important conversation with yourself. Find who you are and who you want to be, what you want in life. Don't care about what everyone else does or says to you. Don't care how the world judges you and what they say is right. Again, there is no right or wrong. There is only perceptions and opinions. You have your own beautiful way to stand out of the crowd and show who you are. Everything starts from within. Turn self-criticism to self-love and start your journey on who you want to be. To go after the dream life you want to feel love, joy, and happiness every day. If you want to learn how to find your purpose in life, the next video to watch is in the link below. It's a Japanese concept of Ikigai and once you find what yours is, I promise you your life can dramatically change. Question of the day, what's your recent struggles? Please post your comments below because I would really love to hear. Sometimes it helps when you spit out your emotions to someone else. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.